What's going on guys? Thanks for joining me today. Today's a good day though. We got a fun little project I'm working on here and it's the Polaroid a day for a year. So oh, I've now completed January and February. Um, there's a lot of film. I go through a lot of film I feel like because I'm one of those guys that's like oh I'm gonna take this picture I'm gonna take that one. And before you know it, I've shot the whole pack of film in the same day and I'm like, ah. So one thing I've taken away from the Polaroid Day Challenge is I gotta go a little lighter on my film. Um, really, really focus on one thing a day. I've had a really hard time doing that. And I have went through the packs of film, let me tell you. Um, yeah, so I've shot color eye type, black and white eye type, I have shot all kinds of stuff from antique stores to family to whatever caught my eye that day uh, and if and if i shot multiple shots a day i picked the best one from the day to put into the album um so with january and february done i have went through and i'm filling up albums and i'm putting them in order so it goes like this day one two three four all the way through the book and when I'm done with the book, at the end of the year, I think I'll pick my top one or top two from each month and we'll recap at the end of the year. But I'm going to do a video every two months recapping what it took for those two months. So two months is a good time frame. Gives me time to scan everything in, you know, and get it ready for the channel here. But I've also upgraded my gear. So you're going to say upgrade when I go back. It is an upgrade, trust me. Um, so I've been using the Now and the Now Plus. They're great cameras. However, I feel like the One Step 2 is just better made. Yeah, I think it's sharper. I think it works better. The light meter works better inside. So the last, I don't know, day or so in February I shot with uh, the one step two and I've been shooting with just the one step two since I got it and now I got a killer deal on this thing I got it for 40 bucks brand new off Macari still in the box and I'm not gonna lie it's much much better in my opinion than the now on the now plus um, this makes me want to get the plus of this one because this thing is so sharp and so nice I'm not even kidding like this is they got it right with this one. I like, also like some other features. Like I like having the lights on the top instead of the little number. I like The one thing the now does do better is that the flash has a button on the back. Um, I like that better than this one where you have to hold in, you have to hold in this button as you take a picture. So you gotta hold two buttons to take a picture if you don't want it to flash. The now does have that button up top here where you just click it and it, it's off. And I like that. If that camera had this, this would be the perfect Polaroid camera, other than the SX-70, um, which I've still not got one of them yet, and I'll be getting one of them soon. But I'm I'm loving this one. This one, this one is my jam. Um, it's it's far better made, in my opinion. It even feels better made, like thicker plastic, the whole nine yards. Um, so I'm a huge fan huge fan of the one step two um yeah so good march and april will be crazy compared to january and february i'm sure in my opinion that's just my opinion um i've probably shot with a now and now plus eight nine hundred photos easily i mean i've got album after album full down here um and I, I, i'm i'm just saying one step two, that is much better. But yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'm excited for you all to see these photos. Um, oh man, and it's crazy too because one of the photos, the Coca-Cola photo here, the sun, I was just in Norton this week and I don't know if they took it down to restore it or what, but it's gone. Um, so I got this shot and I, uh, right now you can't get that shot because it's not there anymore. It's a beautiful Coca-Cola clock sign in Norton, Virginia. So it's crazy since the start of this project, something's already gone, which is just exactly how life is. Things come and go. 
it's never the same. So that's kind of why I like this project. Um, it's just so different. And now I've got black and white. I've got color. I've got um, anything from signage to restaurants to trees. Just whatever caught my eye of the day. Um, it's my daily life. It started out as I'm going to go take a picture of this and this. Really like, oh, I want to show that off and this off to, okay, it's just my life. Here you go. This is where I was at today. Here's the picture, you know? So I hope you enjoy these photos. Again, March and April, that'll be in a couple, in a few months. It'll probably post in, in May. So we'll do that every two months. And in December or in January, January, we will recap it the whole year. And I'll pick two shots from each month that I just love. I was going to do one shot from each month, but I can't do that because I love more than one shot from each month. So that's what we're doing. Two from each month, 24 photos. And when the book or when this project is done, I'm going to do a book of all of them and it'll be a nice coffee table book. And I'll, I just, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. But if you haven't subscribed either, so if you haven't subscribed guys, you need to subscribe. I'm on the road to 500. I'm really close to 400. I'm like nine away. Last I checked. So help a guy out. I do a lot of instant photography. I do architecture, landscape, which is what I'm known for. Waterfall photography, nature photography, portrait photography, reenactment photography, sports photography, concert photography. I do it all. I just one-stop shop, love it all. If I like, if I like it and I think it makes a good picture, I take it. So I don't like to keep myself set in one genre. I like to mix it up and that's what keeps it fun for me. That's what keeps it unpredictable for, unpredictable for me, which I love. And now I do digital. I do Polaroid. I do 35 millimeter. Probably going to get into 120 film. You know? And to my, to my right here, you can't see it, but I've got all my mixing stuff over here. My developer, my fix, where I've been doing 35 millimeter work. Um, yeah, just off, off site because I'm actively developing film too right now. So, busy day. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Enjoy these photos. Let me know below which one was your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. And keep these videos coming out. I appreciate y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye.
You're chilling in wind and rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me a bit of You whip up my appetite 